apple and papaya soup. Hint of sweetness, fruity and refreshing. Hi, it's you Cook here. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who just found my channel, welcome on board. With just a few ingredients, you can actually prepare this pot of soup for the entire family serving 5 to 8 people. You will need Fuji apple and green apple. I'm using green apple from my garden. And of course, you're going to need pork bone and a few additional ingredients such as ginger, goji berries, honey dates, tangerine peel. Today, I'm adding papaya to my apple soup to bring out its sweetness. The use of apple and papaya provides lots of vitamins such as C, A, and E and it also provides a beautiful aroma of apple. So let's get to the recipe right now. First, blend your pork bone and have it ready. I'm using an 8 quarts pot. Fill water up to the rim, add in pork bone, ginger, tangerine, add in 2 honey dates, add in 2 teaspoons of salt, Heat is medium and we're going to go ahead and cook it for one hour. Do not close the lid, otherwise your broth will be very cloudy. You can find it at any Asian market. It is also called dry north almond and dry south almond. You can also find them on Amazon as well. The alternative is to use figs. I'm using three large size of Fuji apple and two green apple from my garden. I'm using one papaya. Peel the skin off and remove all seeds inside and chop it up just like that. After one hour, I'm going to add in my apples. Instead of using a lid, I'm using a splatter guard um, as it helps to maintain the heat and keeps my broth clear. If you choose to close with a lid, turn heat to slow and cook for one and a half hour after adding in apples. Cook for another 45 minutes. Now add in papaya and cook for a good 15 minutes under medium as well. Last one, add in goji berries and turn off the heat. This is a perfect recipe for a hot summer. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until then, I'll see you on my next episode. Thank you again.